think about my spiritual journey, I realized that it was a long story of strong environment. As the daughter of a southern Baptist in the square music and a church holiness, I was in charge of Sunday morning, every Sunday night, and yes, every Wednesday. <laughs> It was on morning drives to Mother's Day Out that my father taught me to harmonize. It fawned me in a way that strong me in my head. It was in church that I had my first solo, my first real church play. And as music was a tool for learning, uh, it was through music that I learned Bible stories and songs about God's love and love. And it is in those formative years that I built a strong When I think about my church journey, I realize that it is music that brought me to this church. When my husband, Lars, and I were first married, we knew that we wanted a family and that we wanted to raise our children in the Christian household, including the tradition of attending church on a regular basis. As a young professional couple with no children, it was easy to brush off Sunday mornings. And we soon learned that in order to be held accountable, we need to make some sort of commitment to the church. I realized that I was going to require that it would be a good way to hold myself accountable to attend church on Sundays. I contacted a former music professor at the beginning of the Southern Birmingham Church choirs that we had seen at that time. At the top of the list was the Episcopal Church, and naturally I called the first church on the list. Now we are friends. <laughs> <laughs> Obviously, very different from a typical Baptist service, I really love the music and the formality of the Episcopal Church. And through that, I slowly realized that music can be one of the strongest, truest forms of worship. Eventually, our church journey brought us to Ascension. It is here that we felt led to worship and for me specifically the music ministry. I'm not only having the honor of seeing Find a connection in this church. You will be truly blessed.